the video and to those who are new to this space hi my name is priyanka but i like to call myself as creepy rainbow and thank you so much for stopping by so today i am going to show you a very quick and easy makeup tutorial of course but this is going to be the summer makeup tutorial we all know that summer is just kicking in we all have started sweating so yeah like summer is officially here so we really need to prep up for that now before even i start anything i would like to tell you a little bit of my skin condition during summer because whenever it is winter my skin is generally oily but during winter it becomes really dry and sensitive but during uh, summer again it becomes really really oily and the second thing is which is so freaking annoying that i sweat i sweat a lot and when i say like this like literally i sweat a lot i know it's like really gross but you have no freaking idea how annoying that can be apart from that also i have started doing certain things in my makeup routine which really really help me from uh sweating that much and that's what i'm just going to show you guys in this video so if you're interested then stay tuned so first we need to prep our skin and for that what i'm doing is i'm taking some ice and i'm just going to dip some cotton into this ice water and going to do a something kind of a, a cold compress on all over my face now this step is incredibly important for uh, someone like me who has like lots of open pores uh, all over my t-zone and my skin like really sweats a lot so what this cold compress does is that uh, it's just going to keep keep your pores tightened up and like kind of close them so that's why you are not going to sweat that much when you what you like usually do once i'm done with that step i will just wait for all the water to soak up once i'm done with that i am going to apply some sunscreen all over my face and for that i am taking neutrogena ultra sheer spf 50 and i'm just going to mix it up with some um, primer and here i am using the nyx total control drop primer so this is just going to give me a perfect concoction and just like uh like perfect base for your makeup i am applying it all over my face with my fingers i am not using any beauty blender because i don't really want any product to get soaked up so that's what i am doing here now moving on to my foundation i am going to mix like three products first one is nika skin genius sculpting and hydrating foundation second one is the maybelline superstay foundation and third one is actually miss claire illuminating base now you guys know how obsessed i am with this new foundation routine i have always raved about all my insta stories like this uh, concoction just gives me a flawless base like not too uh, full coverage on a daily to daily basis but you can definitely uh, control your coverage if you want more coverage just add little bit more amount of super stay foundation because that is a full coverage foundation so here i am just blending it uh, out with my new beauty sponge from yshi uh, my concealer i am actually taking this sugar ace of face foundation stick now this is a proper full coverage foundation and i just love uh, to use it for as my concealer just blending that with my beauty sponge again to set my face i am taking this l'oreal matte magic compact powder and now i know i'm not using any setting powder because uh, this l'oreal one is actually a matte one and it actually does the job pretty well this is one of my holy grail product and this one i think is my uh, fifth tub I'm using like I really really like this compact so what I'm doing is I am uh, taking my fluffy brush and has loaded it up with some compact powder and just applying it all over my face my brows I'm taking this brow pomade from NYX and just applying it and mimicking the uh, natural shape of my brows I am slightly overdrawing it because you guys know how much I love thicker and fuller brows to create that nice peachy base on my eyelids i am taking this lipstick from maybelline and uh, the exact shade name and everything i will mention in the description box so first i'm taking this lipstick and just applying it with my fingers all over my lid <laughs> once 
once I'm done with that, I am going to set it off with the next Sweet Cheeks blush palette. I'm going to mix these two colors and applying it all over my lid, my crease and all the way up to the brow bone. So this uh, palette, blush palette is a must have in your collection. It is such a pretty palette. It has like all the colors for every season as your blush and you can always use it as your eyeshadow palette. Now for my lower lash line, I am reaching out to my trusted James Charles palette and first I am taking the shade called Daddy which is a dark green shade and I am just flicking it out a bit as if it's like a nice smoky uh, kind of cat's eye kind of look and just uh, blending it further more with the shade called Social Blade which is a bright green color. want a very nice transition. Next, I am reaching out to the shade called B. This is my favorite color from this palette. It's such a bright and pigmented yellow. The color to make it prominent on Indian skin tone, you need actually a lot of hard work, but this B shade is just bang on. Next, I am reaching out to the shade called Coat James and just going to blend everything out with a very, very fluffy brush and it's a very, very light handed, uh, with a very, very light hand strokes. Next, for my upper lash line, I am reaching out to the shade called playground and what i'm doing is i am just placing it with a flat tip brush and i'm just placing it only the outer v of my eyes and just flicking it outwards i'm not really taking out all the way to my inner corner what i want here is i want to mimic a nice smoky winged eyeliner kind of look which is super popular nowadays so that's what i'm trying to do something extra i am actually taking this shade uh, called literally and just patting it all over my eyeshadow like all over my eyelid so this is actually a very soft but very pigmented uh, shimmery eyeshadow you can see next i'm dipping into the shade called ring light and just uh, highlighting my inner corners and my brow bone this is a great highlighting shade Now to tightline my lower lash line, I am reaching out to a white eye pencil and this one is from NYX. It has a slight uh, pink undertone but you can reach out to any white or skin color eye pencil just to tightline your lower lash line. I wanted to keep this look very fresh and very uh, soft. That's why I am reaching out for a white eye pencil. If you want to add some more drama, you can definitely go for blue or like green or yellow eye pencil. Next, I am going to apply some mascara and for that I am prepping my lash and for the mascara I am taking my trusted Maybelline Big Shot mascara now this look you can totally skip your false lashes if you want all you need is like lots of mascara and you are uh, if you can you can use some fibers to add some extra volume how to use fiber I have actually showed in my last video which I will link up here but for just for the sake of this video I am going to wear a uh, like very natural kind of false lashes but that is definitely optional now I'm done with my eyes and I just love the way they look and for the rest of my face, I am going to take this face's uh, highlighter and contour palette and I'm just going to use all over my face. So yeah, just stay tuned. I really like this palette, but the only, only, only drawback is it has a smell. I mean, who uses perfume on makeup? I really don't understand why brands do that. And uh, the worst part is that uh, the fragrance actually lingers like it actually stays on your face like for a really long time so if you are someone who has sensitive nose please don't reach out to this palette it actually gives you a very bad headache if you wear this palette for a really long time today i am using it because um it was just like right in front of me to be very honest i really like all the colors in this palette but the only drawback is the smell and once you set it with setting spray oh my god you are done for the day yeah i'm, I'm not kidding <laughs> now some uh, extra step that what i'm doing is i am just making my own freckles a bit more prominent because this is something my uh, personal choice i love 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 my freckles and i love to flaunt 
them and here just to mimic that what i'm doing is i am taking that same uh, brow pomade which i have used on my brows uh, nail art tool and just like dotting all over my face and just dabbing it with my fingers to give them a more natural and softer look going on to my lips i wanted to keep this uh, uh, whole look really colorful for that i'm using this lacme 925 uh, lipstick and again for exact shade name please check my description box and it's a very nice pink shade as you can see and just to seal everything off i am going to spray my favorite setting spray from color bar and with that i am done i just love the way it has turned out if you like this video then don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel i will see you soon bye